Hello my dear students. Welcome back to my channel. In this lecture we are going to discuss Lewis theory of acids and bases. In 1884, Swedish chemist Svante Arrhenius proposed the concept of acid and base based on the theory of ionization. In 1923, the Danish chemist Bronsted and the English chemist Lowry independently presented the theories of acids and bases on the basis of proton transfer. The Arrhenius and Bronsted Lowry concepts of acids and bases are limited to substances which contain protons. In the same year, Gilbert Newton Lewis proposed a more general and broader concept of acids and bases on the basis of electron pair transfer. According to the Lewis concept, bases are substances that can donate a pair of electrons, while acids are substances that can accept a pair of electrons. To make things clearer, let's take an example. Imagine ammonia, which is our base. It has a lone pair of electrons that it can donate. On the other hand, we have boron trifluoride. It has an incomplete orbital that can accept a pair of electrons. When they come together, ammonia donates its lone pair of electrons to boron trifluoride. This forms a coordinate covalent bond between them. The ammonia acts as a base because it donated its electrons and boron trifluoride acts as an acid because it accepted those electrons. The product of any Lewis acid base reaction is called an adduct. Now let's talk about how to identify Lewis acids and Lewis bases. Lewis acids are electron pair acceptors while bases are electron pair donors. According to Lewis concept, the two types of substances can act as Lewis acids. molecules in which the central atom has incomplete octet for example boron trifluoride and aluminum chloride these compounds can accept an electron pair because the central atoms have only 6 electrons around them positively charged cations can act as lewis acids because they are deficient in electrons for example cations such as sodium ions and potassium ions have a very little tendency to accept electrons While the cations like hydrogen and silver ions have a greater electron accepting tendency therefore act as lewis acids similarly there are two types of substances can act as lewis bases neutral species having at least one lone pair of electrons for example ammonia have a lone pair of electrons so act as lewis base on the other hand negatively charged substances or anions can also donate electron pair For example, chloride and hydroxide ions act as Lewis bases. Despite its significance, Lewis theory does have its limitations. It could not explain the behavior of protonic acids like hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid, which do not form coordination compounds with bases. Lewis concept also fails to explain the relative strength of acids and bases. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful please consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this